Hey, so I already went through and did all one of these, but um, the recorder on my computer didn't pick up a voice. So we're doing it again. Fun times, fun times. Um, we're capturing from our screen, we're recording, and Jesus Christ, let's do this. Um, yeah, right, so, yeah, I remember this one. Just from yesterday, Gecko Miniatures. Fuck, man. <sighs> Super busty chicks that are just... Again, why am I offended by this? Am I offended? Is that the right word to use? Um, just because the proportions are so off, and because, like, that looks like a... I mean, it does look like a child. That is a, that is, that's a childlike face with enormous breasts and big thighs. I don't know if we can see it. They're just lifting her leg up. What, um... What is going on? That's... I just... I I don't know. I'm, I'm curious to know what... What what does everyone think about this? And I'm going to try and edit out those little interstitial loading things. This might get a little jumpy, but, um, Jesus Christ, 15 photos. So this guy's great. Hey, this is good. Um, big, uh, demon guy. I mean, it's a good looking miniature. Don't really know how big. Great looking base, though. She looks normal. She looks super normal. Like, pretty normal features. I feel like those wings are definitely going to snap off. This part of her little, basically her underwear, is definitely going to snap off. I just, I dare say, have a problem. I mean, it's it's because this is almost just like those those uh, He-Man figures. That's the proportions of these. I mean, and then like there's like the distance between the torso and the waist is what it is here, but then it gets super stretched out. Like, this is just, like, that's weird. Like, she looks like a foot taller. And this is all the same person, I believe. Yeah, I don't... Who's using this? Who's using this and for what? Um, I mean, she's just way too big for this lion thing, which is a very much of a, a He-Man tiger feel this guy I mean god he's jacked I mean just like his arms are bigger than his head just the proportions are what they're they're not even right for like a fantasy thing again it's like an anime who whoever designed this didn't design the other ones it seems all right tiger thing tiger thing demon things, they're all basically the same, which is kind of nice, so they're, they're, they're different enough that you could have a bunch, but I don't know what they are. <sighs> That's that, gecko miniatures. Eh. Alright, Titan Forge, uh, here we go, so, fuck, 28 of these goddamn photos. Um, we got ourselves a bunch of, I dare say, Neanderthal Viking Barbarians, which seems to be a theme this month. I mean, it's a great sculpt. I'm assuming that these are all regular sized people, which means that this thing is huge. Yeah. Loving that his weapon is a bone. I like that he has toenails. And I like that these uh, creatures are not quite rhinoceroses, rhinoceri. They're just slightly different. Um, interesting boss, I guess. I don't know. What do you do with her when she's not holding up an orc head? That's good. I think that's a good pose. On guard. Interesting dinosaurs, velociraptors. I feel like they could have added something to them to not make them just velociraptor ripoffs and here's our crew these are all um, fuck 
mix and match, if you will, right? They are, um, you can have different heads on different bodies, modular. Um, but they're pretty, they're a good tribe. And again, I love that all of the weapons are bones. They put a lot of thought into making them all unique as well, which is really nice. I don't know why this guy has a sword. He should just have a bone. Good scars. Just, I'm not a fan of mohawks in general, no matter who has them. Yeah, it's interesting. They should either be, I don't know, some of them have seemingly metal weapons and some have bone weapons. I'd love if they just all kept the same. Yeah. Modular. I'm tired. Fuck it. We gotta go. We gotta do this. This is a great thing. This is a great set piece. It really is. You can see how big that is. People fit in between. A little, like the, the wheel of death or something from Conan. It looks really good. Some bases. Right, and then you get your adventurers. This is a good one. Half-orc hunter. Pretty good too, and really good. So that's what you got, your Titan Forge. Um, I, I really do. I think they're they're really the crown gem in all of their pieces. Are these adventures, the three adventures that they supply each month? Just real, uh, yeah. I think I enjoy them more than the modularity. Ooh, and now we have a video. More barbarians. a little slower. I mean, they're pretty good, though. They a lot of different heads, weapons. Like, this is, uh, you know, like the main hero from, you know, the, the barbarian from Hero Quest. This is his group. You know, like these, these little lines. I mean, this is like the same fucking thing. Like, who, how, are these people working together? Is one person just, they have their... Their previews come out for the others, and then the, they do theirs. I love that he has like a bit of escalation. I don't need his hair to be that whippy around. Got her arms great. I mean, just like like I wish I had arms like that. Okay, see, I have a... I don't say I have a problem with this. Um, who is this for, and what are they using it for? Uh, I think it's, A, I think it's weird that she's carrying around a hunk of tail, I guess. Um, it doesn't really have dragon scales on it, so it's probably not a dragon. Uh, she's got some crazy scars on her cheek. Not even scars, just gash marks. I mean, I'm as much a fan of over-sexualizing women as the next fella. It just seems the purpose. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just don't get, I don't know. I wish I had more words to describe it. Like, why do we need a naked barbarian woman? The proportions are a little out of whack. And it's interesting. I'd be, I'd be curious to see uh, statistics of how many downloads one with the other gets. And that's that. I mean, I'll probably get this because I love, I love the, I do love the idea of the modular barbarians. These guys look just so much better than the others. And STL miniatures. Oh right, some centaur things. I mean, you can't really tell they're elf centaurs. They all seem to be women, though, based on their their armor. But I don't know that I've seen a lot of centaur. These, these little horns at the top almost make me wonder, are these actually centaurs? Um, it would have been nice to have them, I don't know, ha fine, have helmets, but don't have horns. I guess this one doesn't have horns. It just has 
hair that's going everywhere. It's gonna break. Interesting lance at the little guard, hand guard, and the, at the midway point. Cool portal? Great place to have a meeting, I guess. Uh, this is see better days. I don't know. I feel like elves would keep it up better. And there's the group. Then they also have other. I mean, in general, I, I think I've been more a fan of STL miniatures whenever they've done little slices of life, you know. Uh, not that I've ever bought any of their stuff. I mean, none of these really s strike me as player characters or enemies or NPCs. Like that. You're not going to stop. You're going to have a conversation with this this woman. Little boat, very small. I like this. I do like the style. I mean, I like the style of this. Although it just feels very much like a uh, a Beauty and the Beast, like Disney's Beauty and the Beast. All of the elements are heightened in some capacity. And that's all that. I think that's a water fountain. I think. Just neat. Nice touch. Ah, so they've created an entire adventurer's guild. Like they've got walls, um, some tiles, so they've, they've, they're essentially creating the, the tavern that is specifically for the adventurers. This also reeks of Disney, you know? I mean, I don't know. It lacks a, I don't know, I don't know it lacks a humanness, a soul, if you will. I still have no idea what these giant ball necklaces are all about for monks. Why does he have to shave his head, or she? Maybe she. Why is she shaving her head and she isn't? Hmm. That's a poor design. I mean, she's just... That looks... They should have been able to fix that. I mean, this looks weird. Yeah, don't like that. This is int this is a this is a good looking guy. It looks sort of like reminds me of the the bad guy from Loot Studios a few months back. He's fifty nine millimeters tall, big boy. Yeah, all right. I mean her. Her head is just like her. It's, it's weird. Looks good. This looks great. Can't quite really tell what what this log is all about, but good looking giant. Like this would make a great, a pretty great enemy. And this is the board. <laughs> you go and you find adventurers that need being done a quest board it seems a little too on the nose I mean it's hard to I guess I would prefer more of a role playing situation where you know, the things that need to be done are from the world they should have I feel like they should have painted this instead of just see you know painted it with a computer and these are all the little bits you can make make your make your place I've never used any of those open lock tiles. They seem to be a pain in the ass. I, um, and these are all old things from... You still get them, but I'm not going to show them to you. Uh, Lord of the Print, always great quality. What? Um, right, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. This is This is a great take on it. 
because each of the four horsemen are riding something very different from a horse, which is which is really nice. I mean, the quality of their sculpts is very realistic. So what they're going to do, I'm, not, I'm just going to skip through this. Uh, they're going to show one main photo and then a couple of side views. And I'm not going to spend the time on those side views. But this is... That's great. Pause. You can just pause it if you want. Um, I mean, a four horsemen of the apocalypse with a fucking riding a spider, demon spider. And I mean, he. This is this is right out of like, Mad Max. You know, Fury Road. Those creepy fucking people. I mean, what the fuck is that? I mean, that's, I don't know. Oh, God, these are just pigs and people, maybe, hanging on the side? I mean, that looks great. I'd be a little concerned about just all these little tail bits. Hangy bits. Fifty-two. Uh, all right. Here, one shot to rule them all. These are a bunch of chicks. They're blind, or they've got hair in their eye. I'm gonna just blast through these photos. Blah 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 blah. This, this definitely feels like a a Mad Max Fury Road sort of environment. Um, I mean, I guess these have got to be enemies. You sort of mow through them or something. It'll cut out your soul. And then a bunch of these guys. I mean, you can just see the general idea of weird, weird people. I mean, I'm assuming these are modular. Um, although, th it might not be. I don't see a place for, for their head to come off. I mean, God, if these are all individual, that's almost a little extra uh, awesome. God. I mean, I, again, I don't really know. I guess these are... Are you attacking that guy? I don't know what they're doing. And then a bunch of uh, demons or something. Um, just trying to catch up. Picture's worth a thousand words. And is that? I mean, it's, um, I'll say it speaks for itself. All right, we got a bunch of dragons on buildings and then just other weird, like, sort of mythological Asian of some origin. Creatures. Again, I don't want to spend too much time because I'm A, tired, and B, I did this shit yesterday. And I'm just assuming and hoping that it's working again. Or now, for the first time. You don't got a head. Take off my head. You can't take off my head, lady. Take your head off. It's a 
mean, you get the idea. You get the idea enough, you can go in and examine if you want on your own time. This is helpful, although it's a little weird. All these, uh, I mean, when do you want it? When do you need to know that it's 56.5 millimeters? I feel like just some Chinese company is ripping someone off or trying to think, like, this is what people want. There's a lightning bolt going to fall off. It's an interesting design element, too. It seems like they're taking it from, uh, I can't think of what it's called. Yeah, Mini Monster Mayhem. Arch Villain. Yeah, everybody, I guess it's December, so everybody's got their own little frost thing. They're no different. Though a lot of this shit is very, very similar. Although, I mean, maybe everybody's drawing from the same source of inspiration. But this is really similar to, um, yes, some of the others we've already seen this month. But also, and Loot Studios, I'm a subscriber. I think they're really great. I love the story. I think they have more of a story going on rather than just a bunch of stuff, which I really appreciate. Although, uh, this is more similar to their November. Their December is um, different. They've got their own little castle going on. This is a good one. Um, great, yeah, yeah, yeah. The texture on this sash is really nice. The fabric. I do appreciate a good fabric. Walrus skin is great. Or Fenoy. Feet look good. Appreciate that he only has three fingers. Really? He's like a bull, bull walrus. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely like that they give you a few options on these walrus people. And a satyr. I guess I'm calling it a satyr. Viking Seder. Cool to come across some of these. And the Albert. Bunch of Albers. They'll fuck you up. Why is this guy wearing shoes and the others aren't? What the fuck happened to this guy's? Hold on, wait a minute, why does he have fingers and the others didn't? Is he different? Is he not a... What? Hold on. Back that up. What the fuck are these and what the fuck is he? Someone please inform me as to what the hell's going on. Angry man with a head? Good. Angry Viking lady. Very good. Some dumb bracelet. And that. Hmm. Alright. 23 minutes in. I think I'm just gonna stop this at the 30 minute mark no matter what. Um 12, 12 for 10.50. This is handy, just to remind you. And great, December. So we're in the frozen wastelands again. I mean, did we not just see these people? Maybe they have a story going. I don't know. They've got this weird. This reminds me of the, the thing, that Kurt Russell movie that took place on Antarctica. Kalinar. I've always had trouble saying Antarctica. Too many syllables. I've never looked at one of their campaigns before. It's a good pose. I don't feel like this guy's a captain. Um, man, he needs to sew that shit up. It's a good looking texture though. Good looking belt. Hmm. And now he's a freak. This is fun. 
definitely, definitely fun. Two heads. Got demons coming out. I do, I really love the, uh, the lighting that they've done on this. I don't know how they're doing it. But it looks good. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've never. I've, uh, I haven't. I haven't downloaded. If anyone has, let us all know what you think of it. All right, twenty-five. Here we go. Here we go. Warp miniatures. Warp miniatures. Warp lock. So they do these little twenty-eight millimeter dwarves, um, and they're all compatible with their other dwarves. They really remind me of a. Uh, yeah, like the sort of the goblins in Labyrinth. Very playful, but it's very uh, specific. I, I, I mean, I don't know... I don't know when you would use them, I guess. Um, they're just sort of very... I don't know if ubiquitous is the right word, but... Yeah. I mean, you saw it. The Winter Hunt. Um, I, I, I do enjoy the style of these. Um, that's a thing. I like the double tails. I love just the adding of the arms and legs. Um, I feel like I know what that is called, but I don't. Creature, creature, creature. Looks good. Hello? Hello. Yeah. I mean, it's just the proportions are correct. You know, it's like I can believe that this is a person. That's a, I, I think this is a great pose. This would be a great NPC. I think the, the pose says a lot. stuff for hero quest. I don't know what that is. And then these are all older things that you get. Um, red clay miniatures, we're going to end up with this one. Uh, Knolls of the Dead Sea. Um, uh, I think my thing's going to shut off in a minute and a half. Oh, good. Uh, so these are Knoll Pirates. Knoll Pirates. Yep, a bunch of Knoll Pirates. I don't know, I don't recall if these are... I think that some of these... Oh, ooh, my fucking monkeys. Um, I don't think these are modular. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, Knoll Pirates. Can we get it? So that's it. That's uh that's uh that's what 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 um and uh yeah. Wow. Um so there you go. That's stuff to think on. I really like that uh the one that had the the barbarians, the good barbarians, the modular barbarians, the ones that didn't suck. Yeah. Um see you in a few days.